Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Roundtable Gaming Podcast. I am joined alongside uh, Spike, Luna, and Poison's here for the next couple of minutes. Or so. <laughs> and it's hot as hell in this fucking truck, so excuse the loud beeping in every five minutes that I fucking start this goddamn truck because I'm not paying attention to when it's going to freaking turn off because it's hot as hell. Anyways, um... We would have had a recording yesterday, but I was extremely busy alongside with that. So, uh, <clears throat> so we're having one today, <laughs> Tuesday, the uh, 15th. The uh, 15th, excuse me. So, uh, anyways, how are you? Hello. So, yeah, uh, Starcraft. And... Oh, wait. Hello? I, I look like I'm in today. Hard <laughs> podcast. Hang on. Everything's going glitchy. Hello? Because all the big. Man, I might not be able Games are getting ready to come out. They're couple of brand new controllers. Yes, yeah, it's, it's this brand new, awesome, <laughs> newfangled thing that I, I think no one's ever tried before. Except for E3. And, and it's called actually researching news. So anyways, we're this is our um, newest section that we're going to do at the beginning of every podcast, maybe, hopefully, depending on if we have good or bad, or any news whatsoever. So, Spike, oh God, take it away. News. First things first, I have an interesting note about uh, something that happened in Discord over the past day or so. Um, okay. Discord has completely erased the existence of the alt-right server, and many, 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 many accounts associated with both it and the act of terrorism that happened just the uh, a couple days ago. Oh, good. I I'm sure all of you know about that act of terrorism, but basically Discord has taken a stance against it and is saying it no longer supports these white supremacist assholes. It probably and didn't it for probably those that don't use know that unprofessional term there, but it, it is actually taking a stance against white supremacy and Bas this basically Basically, for those that don't know what's going on already in fucking for, uh, Charlottesville, Virginia, or you don't watch your the local news. news stations or Fox News or CNN or whoever the hell what else? what else is broadcasting this. Anyways, the point is, uh, what was going on was that there was this uh, white supremacy rally um, about these freaking... Uh, either neo-Nazis or white supremacists. Uh, and um, basically, it's just a rally of all of them chanting pro-Trump, or no, not pro-Trump, hail, hail Trump or some shit like, or whatever the frickin' ger German word is for hail. Heil. Um, yeah, hail. Well, <clears throat> whatever. It, it's, it was really, really stupid. Basically, it was the white version of Black Lives Matter. <laughs> if, if I could say it any nicer than that and uh, there was a lot of violence and um, there also was this fucking dumbass who nice, nice, even though nice knowing you guys were about to get banned from YouTube <laughs> even yeah. though even though I completely disagree with the movement there was some asshole who decided to plow through the uh, group of people who legally had actually, had legal authorization to uh, the people. The people who were protesting were protesting against racism. The person that really plowed through them was for racism. It's uh, yeah. I, I thought, thought there was a white. Wait, what was the, the white supremacist rally that I was Basic, talking about? That? Basically, there was a rally going on where a whole bunch of people were holding like literal pitchforks and torches rallying against <laughs> uh, 
Well, against racist. the whole number of things, but basically being white supremacist and racist the whole time. So another rally showed up at almost the same, same moment in, in the park, holding up all these signs once they heard about this white supremacy rally. And they were completely against it. So both of them had a right to be there. But obviously you can see which one was the good guys and which one was the bad guys. The well, good guys got ran over. Some random person, some random asshole decided to take it upon himself or herself to himself. We still don't end know, actually. one of the rallies. It, no, it's, him, it's and himself. They it's, plowed oh, it through was actually the... Uh, yeah, they, they named the suspect. It's some d random dude. I don't they, even remember his name, but... They plowed through the anti-racism rally people. They mm -hmm. plowed through them. So the white supremacy rally kept going and the... Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I am so the, this is why The sad part is... The yeah. sad part is, is that... There were roads blocked off. So... I think Clearly, it was one of the people from the other rally that did it. I think so too. I don't know. Hell, it could have even been somebody from the same rally that actually did it to try to make the other rally look bad. Anyway, we're supposed to be about gaming here at Roundtable Gaming, so we should probably move on before we get banned or something. Yeah. But, anyhow. Okay, so I don't really have much to say about this topic, but for all of you Battlefield fans, Battlefield 1 has now joined EA Access. So, Yay. hashtag not sponsored. If you sign up for EA Access, you will get access to Battlefield 1 for quote-unquote free, as long as you have your Access um, subscription. So, that that's for all of you Battlefield fans out there. I yeah. personally believe, uh, unless you want, like, eight different games on EA Access, just buy the game you want and own it forever. Simple. Much more simple. Because it, it's way more economically sound. Anyway, um, I have some news that might interest you old school gamers, including Luna, that um, Okami HD is going to be coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One later this year, in December. That is awesome, actually. I am actually looking forward to this. I've always wanted to play Okami. What, what was it called? Okami. Okami. It's the it's HD based... version of a really old game. It was a PlayStation 2 game. Huh. Still really old. Yeah, it's old, <clears throat> but it's not really old yet. Once it's, uh, like, six generations behind, then it becomes really old. You know what <laughs> I want to know, though? Was Chibi Tarasu in the original Okami game? I honestly don't know, because I actually didn't get the chance to play Okami. Yeah, Chibi Tarasu, for anybody who doesn't know, is Okami's son. <laughs> and he had his own game on the Nintendo DS. And as usual, still no, um, still no confirmed date on as to when Final Fantasy VII Remastered will come out. Yeah, we not, not even Gamespot knows. No one knows. It's soon, TM. <laughs> okay. Another thing that I'm probably not going to go that into detail on is apparently. Now you can turn yourself into a Pikachu with Snapchat's latest filter. I don't know why anybody would want to be a Pikachu. I just did that. Be, and there goes Poison. You I can be a Pikachu sent, now, so... I just sent literally all my friends a picture of me as Pikachu. It's just like five seconds ago as you said that. You as a for, rat. For, for those of you that don't know, Poison Ooh, is our intern is our millennial intern she's uh, an intern who girl is, whom is literally into every fucking trend there is and yes it is an actual gig i, I would have preferred charmander but whoa, not every yellow single rat. trend poison here is our intern hipster girl tomboy tomboy girl whatever tomboy hipster Girl. I am I am apparently a not girl. Well, whatever. Well, you kept telling me you weren't a girl, so since I didn't know what to call you, I called you a not girl. Simple. 
<laughs> well, she's our intern hipster nut girl. Okay, um, <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> there is a free expansion coming to the new Eve Valkyrie, which completely overhauls the experience, will drop the price of the game, and wow. also... And removes VR include... requirement. And you also... no longer need a VR headset to play Eve Valkyrie, or at least you won't this September. And also, it'll probably also increase the uh, cost of an of a Plax. What? That's the uh, Plax time is card the for the time Eve, card, right? basically. Yes. Oh. Uh... You could buy it either um... in game or uh, with real life I... money. I knew that Always Eve won. Valkyrie existed in the Eve universe, but I thought Eve Valkyrie was still a standalone game. I've always wanted to try is, out but Eve. It, it does yeah, exist in the Eve universe, though, and it affects the economy when you do stuff in it. Yes. It However, it me. also doesn't have a subscription fee. One time buy. Oh, about fucking time. No. It's That's Valkyrie. Different it's game. A well, still... And also, yeah. well, Eve actually doesn't have a uh, required uh, membership a what? fee. It actually has a uh, yeah, but you a can't free to do play, but you can't do anything pretty much anything. In the free version. Well, you can, but you can't. Wait, what? You can basically. Last time I checked, um, Eve is paid to play. It is, but it isn't. The, it's the like RuneScape and it's a variation on uh, free-to-play. The, the new expansion is called uh, Warzone, and you can probably go view its trailer over on YouTube somewhere. I haven't actually looked up the trailer, because I don't actually own the game, so I'm not really interested in the changes, because, you know, I yeah. don't know what the game was like before them. So, so anyway, somebody's um, going to have to remind me to uh, post the trailer in the description. It, it's described and... as a complete overhaul and has actually removed the requirement for VR headsets. So now all of you without a PSVR or Oculus Rift or Vive or whatever you call that cardboard box on your head. Um, ah, plastic, actually. You will get to... Uh, there's cardboard ones, too. Oh, dear God. You will why? get to um, uh, play E Valkyrie. Okay. Which is great, because it actually looks really cool. It's basically... It looks like it plays like Elite Dangerous is dogfighting, but in Eve's universe, which is... That's cool, really. I guess, but... The thing I have about that is... Is that... Um, Elite Dangerous was made... Uh, well, I don't want to say it was made to play on controller, but it was more or less designed around... Um... Actually, it was designed around the keyboard because there's like 8 million different keys you have to press yeah. for different things. Well, but that's besides the point. When controller support was introduced, for me at least, it's way easier to fly with a controller. Hmm. It really uh, depends probably on... Probably not uh, for everyone, though. It really depends on your play style, really. Yeah, if you have... Uh, also, like me, if you have a game chat pad for your Xbox One controller... Well, good news, guys. If you plug your controller into your computer with USB, you can use that chat pad. So, wow. therefore, you can use an entire QWERTY keyboard worth of hotkeys while using a controller to fly, so you don't sacrifice your hotkeys. I yeah. would much rather so want in to your use... space, PC master race assholes. Whatever. I am a... But I would... I'm a hybrid I would gamer. much... <laughs> I would much... Yeah, excuse me. I would much rather use a joystick. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. But anyway, um, Warzone is going to drop uh, Eve's price down to thirty dollars <clears throat> for wow anyone who's looking into that. So You're that's uh, fifty percent. That's a fifty percent. Yeah, Valkyrie. That's a fifty percent decrease in price. I think because it's sixty dollars right now, right? 
I be honest so. with you, I don't, I don't really know. Is it on Steam? Uh, yes. It's also on PlayStation Four. Yeah, it's it's on PlayStation 4. <laughs> Continue. I'll, I'll I'll let you know what I find. All right. So, um, Auto Five has recently had an update. Oh, what and they update? it adds a new supercar, a bunch of discounts, and a lot more. So let's see what they have to say about this. Um. Rockstar continues to support Grand Theft Auto V, and this week is no different. GTA Online's uh, latest update is discounts on lots of items and more. In terms of new contents, this week's big addition is the Ocelot XA21 Supercar, which you can see below and can buy from Legendary Motorsport in-game. Uh, other than that, the update brings with the discounts on the VOM Fewer anti-aircraft trailer, Mammoth Hydra aeroplane, uh, Buckingham Valkyrie chopper, Joe Phantom or Joe built Phantom wedge truck, and the HVY APC vehicle, as well as the Route 68, five percent off until August 21st. Okay. Speaking, of, uh, speaking of which, before we get too carried away about anything else, uh, me and Spike are planning on doing a lot more um, GTA Five stunt races that we might actually invite some other people, maybe even stream. Just really depends on what's going on. Okay. Is All that right. all, Spike? Uh. Also available during that period are double GTA dollars and RP rewards during gun running, cell missions, and the sumo and slasher modes. As an ad bonus, Rockstar is offering the Black Coil T uh, free for anyone who completes a cell mission between now and August 21st. So they're actually giving that to everyone? Wow. That's, hmm. uh, that's interesting. unusual. It's very unusual. Because you okay, so got to pay millions of dollars for anything in that game. Right. So here's oh, what I is, found this on is a, a real life item. Oh, I think. Whoa. Hold on. Wait. So, really? So wait, hold, no, hold on. No, it's in the game. But okay. they made it sound like it was a real life item. Seriously. Oh. <laughs> so here, here's what I found on Eve Valkyrie. Um, for one, it's a mixed review on Steam. It's yeah. out now. Um, it's been out for about two years now. Or give or take a few years uh no, it's no it released earlier this year actually i think what november, the 17th, date say? november 17th 2016 oh really it was last year oh okay. 17 yeah so yeah i was right i thought uh, it was a year ago and so, or, well you can get ago. it right now for 40 dollars hmm so it's ten dollar decrease in price. Close enough, though. Well, that's not. Might, might as well be sixty. Yeah. It's only about a ten percent uh, discount right now. Is there anything else? Um. Okay. Uh. Well, Starcraft uh, Remastered came out yesterday, about four p.m. Uh, Eastern time. And uh, so far, it's actually really cool because uh, they've uh, pretty much uh, kept all the same mechanics. Pretty much the uh, AI's pathing system still sucks. <laughs> but, uh, Definitely. but they did keep all of the uh, classic uh, mechanics of the game. The only thing different really is the fact that they've made everything fucking beautiful. I mean, uh, cool. if anybody uh, out there remembers playing StarCraft back in the day with uh, those revolutionary, <laughs> ugly graphics, but still revolutionary for the day, they were beautiful back then, but still, they were re revolutionary graphics for the uh, computer, which uh, really uh, helped out uh, boost the... Um, um, the demand for uh, computer gaming, which uh, 
in turn also made it to where the Master Race computer gamers actually became a thing. <laughs> hmm. Well, helped out, actually. They were already still there, but still. <laughs> but, oh, shit. anywho, um, Stark, um, I've actually been playing StarCraft Remastered. I, I will say this much, though. The gameplay is much more beautiful than it was. Unfortunately, they they uh, forgot to touch on um, the um, cinematics, though, which um, I kind of wish they didn't forget about the cinematic because the cinematics are still fucking ugly. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't. But hey. Can't agree on everything. There are probably some people uh, out there that'll probably uh, disagree with me and say that they sh they shouldn't have touched or they shouldn't have touched anything at all. But that's beside the point. So it's an HD and remaster. This, is, uh, this video is probably going to release too late for this to be uh, relevant to anybody. But the Nintendo Switch is in all GameStop stores across all of America on today, the day of the recording, the fifteenth. <laughs> So by the time, um, have fun, it's too late. Ha have fun yeah. paying scalpers. Say that again, Spike. You kind of cut out there for a second. Yeah, I keep. I'm um, lagging too. So. Anyway, uh, on the recording of this video, uh, the Nintendo Switch is now available in all GameStop stores across the entire U.S which is probably not going to be the case when you finally see this video. So, yeah. um... Go get it yesterday. <laughs> dollar sellout stuff. Yeah. So go get it yesterday. <laughs> you mean, uh, last week. Okay, last week then. <laughs> Also, the next big exclusive in store for the Switch is Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom. A strategy RPG game from uh, Ubisoft. The game is scheduled to release on Actually, August 29th. Tactics, but whatever. Oh, it's getting ready to come out. It says strategy RPG here, uh, but I will agree. That's a tactics game. That's a tactics even... style game. It is not strategy. Yeah. Strategy would be like StarCraft. Yeah. Uh, okay, Call of Duty World War II Beta has a release date. Um, confirm maps and modes on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It, and I will uh, be part of that beta uh, when it releases, I think, next week. Okay. It's, uh, okay. it's, it's, um, it's literally in two weeks. It's two weekends away. The beta will feature so, the Point du Hoc... Ardennes and Gibraltar maps. Uh, developer Sledgehammer notes there will be at least three multiplayer maps included, suggesting more could be added before the beta wraps up. Team Deathmatch, Domination, and Hardpoint will be available, as will War, the new mode that we think help helps to make World War II. Uh, specifically, you'll be able to check out Operation Breakout, described as the first war mode experience. Um, beta testers will also have the opportunity to experience divisions. Play 10 customization system that Call of Duty games have been using for years. The infantry, expeditionary, airborne, armored, and mountain divisions will be available. However, progression will be limited allowing access to only a selection of weapons and other unlockables. So basically, they've gone full tilt, and this is, uh, this is Battlefield Call of Duty Edition. <laughs> this, nice. This test of the private multiplayer beta will feature an introduction to a portion of the player's soldier progression and the underlying foundation of divisions, and we can't wait to hear your thoughts. Uh, the final design <laughs> of this new feature will continue to be fine-tuned as development continues from now through launch. And like I said, uh, I will be a part of that private beta, uh, as I did pre-order um, pre Call of Duty World War II. 
and uh, paid for it in full. So, uh, pretty excited. Uh, I will be streaming the uh, beta if they allow it on Twitch. Uh, and if not, then I'll just go. I'll just give my review anyway. Um, oh God, what is that guy doing? Well, uh, just idiot. so you know, pretty much all betas everywhere are. Um... Idea for you to go around blo uh, broadcasting that everywhere. Well, I mean, if I see other people broadcasting it, should it be... No, not if you see other people. Look to see what the instructions tell you about it, which you are and are not allowed to do. Don't use other people as your reference. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. Humanity sucks. Don't use them as your go-to. Yeah, well, it's going to be Twitch anyway, so... I'll, I'll see if I can stream it, and then if not, then, uh... Oh, freaking well, then we'll just play it in November when it comes out. But anyways, yeah, like I said, um, I I really can't wait to play this freaking thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, get my code from uh, GameStop, or if I I think I I still have my receipt, so I'm gonna see if I can't see if you can't what? find it. Uh, and if I'm GameStop, say that I'm sure again. I would be able to. Say that again. You kind of cut out again. I said. I'm going to try to download my uh, beta code today, or no, not today, uh, next time I get home. Uh, that way I have it ready, you know, by the time the beta begins. Or uh, if not, then I'll just go to, go back to GameStop and see if they can't give me another code. Okay. Because, you know, I pre-ordered it, paid it in full, so... I'm... Any uh, zombie maps spike uh, in the beta? From what I can... damn, even just multi like that's really cool. Hard. I don't mind having to try out the multiplayer maps just to see what the hell the game's going to be like. Um, so you know, like I said, I'm really excited for this. Can't wait to get my hands on it. You guys are lagging. so we have. Yeah, it's because I think you're lagging. God, that would suck. And I'm the one I know. recording. We're just going to have to deal with it. We're just going to have to deal with it. Technical difficulties, people. Technology sucks. Okay, yeah. so we have a review from, uh, or for Son. What is it? Uh, Sonic Mania? Yes. When, when did that game come out? Uh, recently. Very recently. Sure. Go for it. Um, hmm. Nervous? Uh, well, actually, hold on. I need to see... Oh, no, it released today. What, dude? Jeez. <laughs> recently. <laughs> what released today? Sonic Mania. All right, oh, so that's go for it. Sonic game, isn't it? Yeah, the first of this year's two Sonic games, Sonic Mania, released today <laughs> for PlayStation Four, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One. The PC version, however, has been delayed to August 29th. Unlike the Hedgehog's recent adventures, Mania turns back the clock to his glory days, mimicking the look and feel of Sonic's iconic Genesis outings while shedding the excess characters, gimmicks, and other baggage his series has accumulated over the years. Ahead of its release, reviews for Sonic Mania have begun appearing online, and judging by the game's critical reception thus far, it looks to be the return to, uh, the return to form that Sonic fans have been eagerly anticipating. GameSpot critic Matt Espinelli said it exceeds expectations of what a new game in the franchise can look and play like and called the game a charming celebration of the past and a natural progression of the series' classic 2D formula. We've collected a sampling of other Sonic Mania reviews and their accompanying scores. We have? Below for, a broader, for a broader look at the game's critical reception. Uh... 
I know. Well, I don't know how many of these can actually be trusted. Uh, GameSpot gave it a review. There's also IGN, Eurogamer, Polygon, US Gamer, Yeah, but the point of... The, the, the point of our review section of the podcast is what we've played. Not what GameSpot. This, has this isn't part of the review section. This is uh, this is still under gaming news since the game has hmm. just been released, like today. Yeah. All right. So we can't review yeah, Game, it yet. GameSpot goes on to praise it about um, about it being true to the old games. Uh, it, yeah, basically that's it. It's a remake of the 2D style games okay. in a new setting with all of the original mechanics still intact and upgraded graphics, albeit slightly. That's cool. So that's everything I have for gaming news, except for one thing that absolutely no one cares about. No Man's mm. Sky has had an update recently. Uh, no, we don't go, care. Go, go look into that if you care. I don't really care. Actually, now now that I'm wondering, what did they even update? What did they even add or fix or whatever? They probably well, they fixed, fixed it. They next finally year. fixed flight. Flight is more real and less holding your handy. <coughs> you you can actually crash into the surface of the planet, but true to form, that doesn't kill you. It just breaks your ship. Oh. About fucking and, time. Um, you have to repair it just like when you start the game. You have to repair your ship all over again. But yeah, you can well, crash in. God a help you now. if you land on a planet that you, uh, that you can't repair it with. I know, uh, right? Uh, never mind. All right. Well, uh, moving on then. Uh, so, Mo how how's everybody into, been? Moving on into fake news. No Man's Sky is now the best game of the year, 2017. YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that fake name. If you ever say that again on my podcast, I will kick you I, I out. Did, I did just say it was fake news. Yes, you said real fake news. Oh, I thought you said fake memes for a minute, and I'm just sitting no, here like, no, fake, what? fake news. Fake news. <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay, moving, moving on. Moving on into uh, the next session of our, our podcast. What has everybody been up to, gaming-wise? Didn't I just say that? <laughs> also, when did I lose control? Uh, when when you put a uh, spike in charge of uh, research? Yeah, you put you put me in charge of research and organization of the podcast. So yeah, yes, that's, that's but I'm the host, control. damn it! But that's when <laughs> you lost anymore? control. But I'm but I'm your IT department. Don't no, piss off the... the IT guy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought your role was to be was to sh shut up, sit down, and be. Oh, never mind. That's poison. Yeah, that's <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm the IT guy. Yeah, please don't piss him off. I'm so what? It, what has everyone been up to? Well, um, I was streaming uh, Rock Band the other day. Uh, might have been Sunday. Uh, when my uh, green symbol decided to. Uh, well, stop work up. Steven, I told I think, you you were drumming too hard. Yeah, I think that's the that's now officially <laughs> a problem. Because I got one drumstick that's pretty much kind of broken, and uh, now one of the freaking cymbals is working half the time. So yeah. I'm going to have to either try to get that replaced or fixed. Yeah, and that... uh, get myself some more uh, drumsticks. Yeah, if you break a drumstick, you're drumming too hard. <laughs> the thing is, I think I've had that thing for almost a year now. If you break anything while drumming, you're drumming too hard. Yeah. So yeah. that's the real drummers. Well, that's real drums, though. They were built also, to take drummers a beat. Don't act Drummers also don't drum as hard as you are. Steve and I've been in the same room as you. Drummers don't drum that hard. <laughs> but either way, though, real drums were actually built to take a beating. 
Well, anyways, uh, with that being said, oh god, that guy's getting ready to freaking hit somebody. Yay. But, anywho, as far as games that I've been playing recently, Yay. though, I've actually been playing a bit of, um, um, StarCraft Remastered, of course. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, that actually reminded me of something I wanted to bring up. Sorry, Luna. Um, you, you're interested in this, though. Stardew Valley is reportedly going to be coming to the Switch very soon, and on top of that, Stardew Valley is also going to be receiving a multiplayer update soon. We don't yeah, have much details about the update, but... Other than um, the fact that uh, the uh, beta for the uh, multiplayer is supposed to be coming up in uh, the uh, winter months for PC uh, users. And, I thought uh, the during... multiplayer update was coming later, uh, like in September. I actually, I heard it was somewhere in December, actually. Hmm. And well, then the uh, consoles were going to get it about a month later. Stardew Valley is arriving on the Switch in March, I think. So. So you Switch uh, players got to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> if there are any Switch players. Anyways, um, I've been playing a little bit of Mafia 2. And uh, I've only played, like, I want to say at least half an hour to an hour of gameplay. I've got to say, I'm having uh, a lot of fun playing it. So I might okay. end up streaming it very, very soon. Uh, right, whenever, you know, I have the time to stream. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And also be on the lookout for uh, when multiplayer actually finally goes live. Uh, me and uh, Spike will actually be playing uh, Stardew Valley. And streaming. Yeah, and streaming. And stream. You better, you better oh, fucking be streaming. I was saying, stre I was saying that we were going to be streaming it. Whatever. Uh, speaking of streaming something, um, is anybody interested in, in doing uh, some... some uh, or games to stream this week sometime well uh, uh I, i'm i'm streaming like all the time but uh, i think luna wanted to go on about uh starcraft yeah i was trying to yeah, um trying to get to that um go ahead. anyway starcraft uh, Re remastered finally got uh, got its release uh, yesterday uh, and i've been playing a bit a bit of it i actually got through all of the uh Terran and, and uh, Zerg missions, fixing to actually finish the uh, Protoss missions uh, for the original part of the uh, StarCraft. And so far, I'm loving the fact that um, they've actually remastered all the textures. I mean, hell, all the characters except for Kerrigan actually look really good. I mean, Kerrigan's Zerg form, oh my god, she looks ugly as fuck. <laughs> But, um, anywho, um, there's also been streams of people actually playing, uh, PvP, uh, StarCraft, uh, the last two days as well. Um, and some of the, uh, or seeing some of the old strategies, uh, for PvP, it's like, oh my god, I, I forgot we used to do that kind of shit back in the day. <laughs> I mean, um... DT rushes are a are a pain in the ass for your opponent, but my god, they are really powerful though. But still, nothing beats the uh, Terran Ghosts, so they're too OP. <laughs> I mean, you put a, a, a cloaked ghost in the middle of uh, your base or your enemy's base with a uh, with a nuke ready to go off, you can really cripple a guy. But anywho. I guess that's a good enough for right now as far as StarCraft goes, I guess. Um, as for what I've been up to, I have uh, recently defeated Breath of the Wild, though my adventures in Hyrule are not actually over. When I get the game again on the Switch, I will fully explore and see what I can do about streaming my gameplay. Or at the very least, capturing it if I can. And then good luck with your uh, post-game shit when it finally comes out. Yeah. Um, which you have which to buy. still have to buy. Yeah, I know. Fuck you, Nintendo. 
But I defeated Calamity Ganon in only eight tries. <laughs> <laughs> only? <laughs> only? <laughs> Calamity Ganon is actually very difficult until you learn something I learned that makes the fight ridiculously easy. Through fighting him, I discovered a strategy that I'm not going to share. So screw you guys. Beat him on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Didn't the patterns. Didn't you say that um, the game doesn't break your shields and shit? Yeah, yeah Ganon is not allowed to break all your weapons. Oh, I'm shit. not sure about bows, because I didn't use all my bows, but it can't break all your weapons or shields. It will uh, leave you with the last one you have, and it will be impossible to break that weapon or shield. Because you can't actually run away from the fight to get more, obviously. So, if you don't have the Master Sword, make absolutely certain that the weapon you're left with is the strongest one in your arsenal. Same with your shield. And so, then Godspeed. Otherwise, be careful, and good luck when he starts shielding himself. Hmm. Um, Too bad so they that don't... Was my... That was my recent exploit, and now I'm going on to do two playthroughs of two great Bethesda games, unmodded. And I will probably be streaming it periodically, and uh, once I'm through, I might upload all the various recordings to uh, YouTube once I get them off of Microsoft's website. And then when Wait, and are, then... are you talking about um, Skyrim Remastered and uh, Fallout 4? Yeah. Yes. If you want sweet. to watch if you want to watch my periodic streams, uh Steven over here can give you a link to my beam down just in gonna, the description. You're just gonna have to remind me to do it. And then uh, so once he finally uh, gets there. all the achievements, he can act or he can actually put all his mods back in. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Gosh, man, playing unmodded <laughs> It's I so... miss all my cosmetics. It's like, ew. Some of these, some of these things are so ew. Like, like I really miss my Undertale radio. Just on my Pip Boy, I really miss that. Yes. Also, I got the awesome mix from Guardians of the Galaxy too. That that is also a great mod. Do you also have the volume two of that? Uh, I think they only have Awesome Mix Volume 1. Oh. That sucks. Yeah. Too bad they didn't give you Volume 2. So those are our, my exploits, and also Heroes Never Die. So let's move on to... Uh, anybody else have any um... gaming exploits? Uh, yeah, if, if you, uh, if you alt F4 in, um, No Man's Sky, you get, you get this really awesome congratulations, you beat the game, uh, text. <laughs> and achievement. And an achievement. You, you should have mentioned that under fake news, damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a, yeah, that is a part of real fake news. <laughs> Dude, dude, you, you, you broke our scheduling. I, I'm gonna have Oh, to I don't now. fucking care. It, it was amazing anyways. Well, our real fake news uh, se section was really short anyway because you guys fast-forwarded through it after, uh... Ah, that's I, fine. Only had, I only had one thing to say. If anybody else has something still else, here? You, should, you should bring that up. Is Poison still here? Um, no. no. Okay, she probably left. Alrighty, so, um, I guess time to move on to, uh, scheduling, and, uh, we- uh, wait, you don't have any gaming exploits other than breaking your drum set? Uh, no. Man. Really? No? Hell, I've actually been playing a bit of, uh, Stardew Valley. I mean, I mean, I've, I've played, played? Uh, I've played, uh, a bit of Rock Band 4, I've played Mafia 2, and I was on, uh, the, uh, Minecraft Middle Earth uh, server on Minecraft. Uh, as far which as, is an uh, amazing server. But as far as uh, exploits on uh, on games, I got the Galaxy Surge on uh, on Stardew Valley. 
did you help enable a uh, an alcoholic with his addiction? Did you help him <laughs> you get mean, beer? Her? No, there, there's a uh, there's a guy in uh, the Stardew Valley that is apparently an alcoholic, and one of the gifts he will absolutely love if you give it to him is beer. Oh. And he I... gets all depressed when you stop giving him beer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know that Pam is also an alcoholic, and, uh, if you give her shit like that, uh, it's, like, enabling her. But she prefers yeah. pale ale. Uh, this guy likes beer. So anyways, um, we do have, uh, oh wait, are you guys done? Uh, for a moment, I guess. Yeah, All right, and so now we're um, moving on to plans for the future? Question mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I, I actually do have a couple of announce, announcements regarding about uh, scheduling and stuff. Um, oh my god. With, with that being said, um, like I said about the uh, streaming, we don't officially have a streaming schedule, but uh, Spike, yeah, uh, since well, Spike not, is. Yeah, since so Spike and Luna is going to be uh, partially once streaming every now and then, and then me every once yeah, a right week, probably, under my new uh, work schedule, which is completely fucking random, by the way. So, uh, yeah, good luck on trying to catch one of my streams. It's just whenever I'm available, really. But uh, anyways... He's uh, got I, a real job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one in this group with... Well, no, I mean, Shalinor has a job, doesn't he? Yeah, Shalinor has a job. Yeah, so... And me and wait, Shalinor are like... Wait, wait also has sell, a real fake job, too. Does Steven sell real fake doors? No. <laughs> he sells real <laughs> fake alarms. Actually, I'm hauling chocolate, so... Yeah, so he, wait, he sells real fake You have chocolate alarms. in the back of your truck and you didn't tell me? Oh my god. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Everybody, and... hit, the, everybody hit the bunkers! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm hauling chocolate. And candy of all sorts of... It's mainly chocolate and gum. But anyways... Uh, the other week? No, it was, it was actually gum. Oh. Darn. I thought I was... And that was last week. That was uh, when I was trying to get get to uh, get over to Pennsylvania. But uh, anyways, uh, with that being said, um, yeah, we I don't really have a streaming schedule as of yet. It, I'm most likely just going to be able to stream once a week, and uh, just really depends on what I'm doing on on uh, Twitch. Because I will stream Rock Band almost all the freaking time on Twitch. Uh, and then, uh, depending on my mood, stream whatever else on uh, YouTube. But uh, me and Poison have been busy on Minecraft. And we're going to get back to that probably um, next time I stream on YouTube. Uh, mm. And then, uh, yeah, and, and eventually I'm going to start streaming prison architect because i've i really want to get uh a prison architect series going and the best way i could do that is streaming it so i'm just going to stream for approximately an hour to two hours um of prison architect and that's just going to be my content for the week um other than that what i have planned um I do have a couple of blog TV promo videos that I've been in the middle of making uh, that will involve me, Poison, Dana, uh, with uh, everybody doing a bit of voice acting. Yes, Poison has been invited to that. Don't ask. It's uh, it's actually uh, pretty important. So um, I'm really excited to try out this uh, script that I just wrote yesterday. So I'm really excited. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for what I have to say. Okie dokie. Well, as for my future, as you know, I'm doing unmodded plays of uh, Bethesda's two top games at the moment. 
do you have a schedule right now, Spike? Uh, no, I just play it whenever I feel like it. But right now on Fallout 4, my unmodded play is involving survival mode, which, as you guys all know, is an absolute pain in the butt. Oh, God. So, pain in the pooper? If, if you're going to watch that, you're going to see a lot of me micromanaging my inventory, <laughs> um, <laughs> my also... needs, and my resources. <laughs> and also probably a lot of death. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be dying a lot. There's going to be a lot of death. There's going to be a lot of crying. There's going to be a lot of... No, no. There's going to be a lot of blood, there might tears. Be of there might be a bit of rage quitting. And and screaming and yelling. It's just going to be a bunch of freaking crying. Hey. A bunch of hilarious moments. Hold on. I'm pretty excited, a bunch actually. Of, a bunch of how did I even... Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. What's that smell? Is it blood? It's blood! It's blood! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, at the end of the year this year, Spike, um, I will pay you extra for this, but I would like to see a uh, a top 10 or tw top uh, top That's 20 round table. Yeah. Uh, to, uh, round, round table moments. Either in the podcast or in that any of our videos. That means if you guys stream it, <coughs> remember to record it and save the recordings for me to uh, hold on to for later. Yeah. But you guys will be it. keeping hold of all that stuff for me because well, just, just just pull it from our videos. I don't want to fill up my freaking. Do you have any idea how much quality is lost when you um when you upload a YouTube video twice? Also, yeah, but do you do you know how much I care? Also, do well, okay. you do you know how small my uh, hard drive actually is? Yeah, and I'm worried about filling mine up because apparently I'm using a lot more space than I thought I would. So, anyways, yeah, yeah that's just something that I like to uh, start planning right now. Well, not right now, but. Uh, when November comes around, we'll we'll start planning uh, our top ten or top twenty moments of the year. Also, I just have well, one thing I gotta don't say. Have much recordings from the year. I just got one thing I gotta say, and it's to Microsoft. Give us back Scalebound, please! Give you know, us back Scalebound. You know that's never gonna happen, right? Yeah, okay, you guys. Here's your job. In the comments section, down in the video, yay or nay for the return of Scalebound. We will petition Microsoft to bring it back. I mean, they will. I just really don't care. Also, as uh, usual, le hey, if you have anything that you want me to um, bitch about, go ahead and feel free to leave it down in the comments below, and um, I'll try to... Uh, um, read them up and uh, try to figure out how to bitch about them. <laughs> so that'll probably be uh, Luna's rant corner when he starts uploading to uh, Roundtable Gaming. But also, we're using the uh, the new um, the new channel now, right, Steven? I fucking hope so, Spike. You're the one who's making it. I made you the owner. Are you uploading to it? No. Yeah, I made Not you yet. and Luna both owners. Not yet. But um, Spike, with that being him. said, with that being said, um, are are we moving the uh, podcast over to the new channel? Yeah, everything we do that's roundtable gaming centric will be over on the new channel. We can also okay. have copies on our channels, but yeah. it, it is really important to it's... try and promote the new one. Yeah. Okay. And so, always, um, as always, everybody, also make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell. So, anyways. Uh, with that being Ring said, shit out of um, from now on, this podcast will be uploaded onto the brand new Roundtable Gaming channel. This will be the very last video that will, this will be the very last Roundtable Gaming video that will be uploaded on my channel. Um, so It'll yeah, we'll just go ahead and, and uh, channel. yeah, we'll we'll just go ahead and upload this video to my channel for the last time, and then from now on, Spike. You could just upload it to. No, the, everyone uh, can upload. Everyone can upload to this new channel. That's why I made you. Own I know, this. but I know, but you're the one who's editing this podcast, so that's why I'm just saying. I'm not gonna upload it. 
Oh. It's your video. I'll upload my own videos, but it, it's your video. I, <laughs> I, I edit the podcast, and I give it to you for review, and then you upload it if you think it's adequate. Yeah, which, but... Which, according to you, you don't even watch them before you upload them. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, I just say fuck all and and hope, hope, hope to God that it's fucking so, good. So, all you viewers out there, whatever you see after I say these words, don't tell Stephen. Yes, <laughs> don't tell Stephen. He's not going to. He's not going to listen. I'm going to have to watch now. No, no, he he won't know what I'm saying here. Don't tell him what it says. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we are finishing up we're wrapping up now yep okay. alrighty well with that being said um, we'd like to thank everybody so much for watching um, I uploaded a video recently stating uh, my mind about you know some topics I've just been feeling about um, you know myself and my own channel with that also being said I have finally achieved 500 subscribers, so um, that's um, that's pretty much going over my goal uh, this year of uh, gaining. My original goal was like 400 subscribers, and now I up I up that by a hundred. So you know that's fucking amazing. Yeah. Well, congratulations you know, I, on your 500, by the way. Thank you. Now, with that being said, YouTube doesn't really start paying attention to um, YouTubers unless they have how many? Like a thousand or so? I think it's like I think a, it's a thousand. And I then think. your first award is like after a hundred thousand or some shit like that? No, your first award is at a thousand, but your next one is like a hundred thousand and so on and so huh. forth. Yeah. It well, well anyways. A, a godly amount. Well, with that being said, I, I really appreciate everybody subscribing to this channel. And, you know, with everything that's been going on lately, with me being busy almost 24-7, barely being able to upload, uh, I, I am very much enjoying streaming from time to time, uh, uploading these random vlogs and blogs and updates and doing all these uh, stupid things and then trying to return the mask and then blog TV coming back and having to worry about that. We're, we're making this channel busy again. And or at least make, really, round table, break, make round table gaming great again. We, this is actually this is actually starting to become a thing and I've never been so happy uh, about any of this. Like I'm besides Spike at Chalinor and I think Chalinor has um how many subs, Spike? I have no idea. He, he has. Actually, he, he doesn't actually really upload videos for watchers. He he uploads from time to time, but when he uploads, it's just random shit that he does. And um, I think he's getting up there. He's he's getting up there to at least uh, three hundred by now. Uh, and Dana has, I think, a hundred or two hundred. So. Like that. Uh, so, you know, we're getting up there. You know, I'm really, really excited about the way this channel is, is going. And I really can't wait to uh, to see what's new. And we got some slow traffic up here. Yay, slow traffic. God I mean, damn it. Ooh, slow traffic. And somebody's backing up onto the shoulder. And somebody's driving backwards on the shoulder. Or, no, driving the other way onto the shoulder. So I'm assuming there's fucking traffic up here. Really? Or a, a, an accident your, of some what sort. What was your first clue? An accident of some sort is what I meant to actually say. So, um, yeah. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my channel, Spike's channel, Channeler's channel, Dana's channel, and eventually Luna's channel. Um... And with this new channel that's coming up now... Well, we I'm really, really looking forward to Luna's gaming rants. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to people actually uh, requesting shit for me to rant about. I'm more or less looking forward for everything about the roundtable gaming community. Don't say that, 
please don't say that you're looking forward to watching me die over and over and over and over again in Fallout. No, I, I'm, I'm really not looking saying forward. That, but I'm looking forward to videos. <laughs> no, well, what I'm trying to say is I'm really more or less looking forward for everything about roundtable gaming that we're getting ready to do. This is a, a really good future that we're getting ready to have. So, um, you know, really can't wait. So after everything that's been said, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please don't forget to hit the, the uh, subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get the notification about our videos and, uh, whenever we upload them. Don't forget to follow us over to uh, Roundtable Gaming and do it there, too. Um, Stephen yeah. will be uploading this video in both places and putting a link down to our new channel in the description, along with a link to my theme and Luna's channel. And like I said, this will be the very last video that I will upload onto my channel, or the last uh, podcast that will be uploaded to my channel. So um, we will, from now on, start uploading the podcast onto the new channel. And everything Roundtable Gaming related. Um, um, other than that, uh, again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on both my channel, Roundtable Gaming, and everybody else involved. Um, hit, hit the little bell. Leave a like if you like this video, or leave a dislike if you're a dick. Uh, and but, don't forget to comment down below if you want to hear Luna rant about No Man's Sky, or... Uh, scale bound or whatever, or whatever else we else you don't think like of. <laughs> or whatever, yeah whatever else we don't like and if you uh, like something that you want me to rant about go ahead i'll rant about remember, that too and remember so, from the bottom of our hearts everybody yoshi lives matter yoshi lives matter <laughs> yoshi. i didn't do that right i know oh no you're fine Yoshis have varying pitches to their voice. You did, you did it right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, other than that, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we will see you guys in another two weeks on the new channel. And next time on Roundtable Gaming. Crazy I people. fucking hate you all! <laughs> and my death count is now up to 47. <laughs> and my victory count is up to 47. No Man's Sky is the greatest game ever created. <laughs> Hashtag 2017 YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. No Man's Sky, Game of the Year, 2K17. Wait, can we insert a fidget spinner here somewhere? Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, right there. Alright, thank you guys. And, uh, see you next time! Bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye 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 b